Hey friends, it's Julie and welcome to Biceps, Triceps and Cardio. So today in each round we have one bicep exercise, one tricep exercise, one cardio drill. We are going to work time under tension today. So we're going to have 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We'll repeat each round three times and then we'll move on. Are you ready to do this? The only equipment you need today is your weights. So have a variety of weights to choose from that will challenge you in your biceps and triceps. I will also give you a low impact option for the cardio drills. Are you ready to do this? Let's get warm. Here we go. Step touch and just open and close those arms. I don't know about you, but my arms are still sore from chest the other day. So my triceps still hurt a little bit, so I'm a little worried about tricep work today. You know, when you're doing chest work, your triceps actually help with that chest press, and so it's not uncommon to have sore triceps after doing chest. That's where I'm at right now. Sore triceps after doing chest. So we'll see how today goes. All right, I want you to just swing your arms up and back like you're doing a little bicep curl here. We're just gonna get warm, ready to work. Okay, now I want you to flip those hands and go to the back. So now you've got your palms going backwards. See right here? And plant your feet, stretch it up and stretch it up. Just side to side, stretch through the waist. And hold it here. Really stretch and reach. Elongate through that waist. And other side, stretch and reach. And come back down. We're going to do some kicks to the front. Let's get some mobility in the hips. Doesn't matter how high you kick. Just get a little stretch in those hamstrings. Work through that hip flexor. One more each side. All right, plant your feet. We're gonna do an inch one. So you're gonna roll down your body, one vertebrae at a time. Once your hands hit the floor, walk it out to a plank. Hold it here, walk it back. And come up. Now this time, we're gonna walk it out and hold it in that plank. So roll it down, walk it out, hold it right here. I want you to bring one foot up. So you're in a runner's lunge, take it back. Bring the other foot up and back, and let's walk it back. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Ready, here we go. We're gonna build on it. Come down, walk yourself out, plank, bring one foot up, and reach that arm up to the sky for world's greatest stretch. Come back down, switch legs, and reach that arm up. Come back down, and let's walk it back. Woo, jog it out. Okay, feeling kind of warm? Add a little mobility in there <laughs> with your stretch. First round, very basic moves. Bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, and then we're gonna do skaters for your cardio. So pick a weight that will challenge you, but that you can keep good form, most important. Okay, feeling good? Let's do it. So bicep curls, palms are forward. We wanna have our elbows just slightly in front of our body. We're gonna hinge at the elbows to bring that weight up and back down. Okay, we're gonna control it. Then we'll go into the tricep kickback. We're gonna pull that core in, hinge at the hips, elbows above the back, extend and extend. Make sure the wrist, do not do this. No flick of the wrist, keep those wrists. Nice and straight with the arm. Then you have skaters, side to side. You do not have to hop, you can also step touch back. Yes? Okay. I am going to start 15 pounds for my biceps. I think that's going to work. And then I'm going to have my 12s ready for my tricep kickback. So I just recommend that you have your weights ready because it's only a 15 second rest to get the next weights. So maybe have them lined up. Okay, friends. Standing tall, what am I going to tell you about that posture? We want to think about how our pelvis is situated. We don't want to Pull it under, and we don't want to push it back. Right there in the middle, weight in the heels and the ball of the foot. Shoulders are down and chest is open, okay? So from here, when we do that bicep curl, we're not gonna use the shoulders. We're gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna have that core engaged. We're just hinging at the elbows. Are you ready? We have 45 seconds. Here we go. Now, it's not a race, so don't feel like you gotta get in as many bicep curls as possible. I want you to control them and give me really good quality reps. 
So what I'm aiming for is two counts up. So here's one, two, and four down. One, two, three, four. That helps me control it and really use the muscle rather than any momentum. And it's really that control on the way down. That's where we get the good stuff. You have five more seconds. And rest, okay. So I'm gonna put those weights down. I'm gonna swap down to 12s for my tricep kickbacks. Okay, core in, we're gonna hinge forward, bring those elbows up above the back, shoulders down, here we go. Control it on the way back in. You have that core pulled in and engaged. Woo, my triceps. I told you they were already sore. And this, woo, that's gonna make it real fun for the rest of the day. You're almost there, rest. Okay, 15 seconds, we're going to the skaters low impact or with a little hop if you want. So start to one side of your area and just make sure you keep a bend in the knees. Are we ready? Let's do it and skate. So I'm just doing a little leap to the side and crossing my foot back, but you can also just do a step touch and cross your foot back. Either one is great. I just need you to move for 45 seconds. Really swing that arm across. Using our arms helps that heart rate get up there. Five more seconds. And rest. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna get a quick sip of water. We gotta do it again. Okay, grab the weights that you want to use for those bicep curls. I'm going to stick with the same weights this round and I'm going to go up in the last round. Here we go. Get the core engaged, right? and rest. Okay, I'm gonna set those weights down and get my weights for tricep kickbacks again. Ready? Here we go. You can also be here. If you prefer to have one leg back, that's okay too. Five seconds. And rest. Going back to the skaters. Ooh. Take your 15 second rest, get a sip of water if you need it. Shake out those arms if you're feeling it. Okay, we got our skaters. Here we go. I like to kind of imagine I'm hopping over a little stream or something so that I get that little leap to the side.
How you doing? You have 15 seconds. We just have one more time through that round. Five seconds. And rest. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna go up and wait this last round. Okay, ready? Here we go. Struggling through. What about you? Are you smiling because you feel it? And rest. Oh. Okay. One more time through these kickbacks. <clears throat> I'm sticking with the same way. Quite frankly, I want to drop down. <laughs> My arms are sore, but I'm going to keep through it. I'm going to do it. Here we go. This first round. We're close. I don't know about you, but I am so feeling this. And rest. Oh, thank goodness. That's all I can say about that. Thank goodness. Okay. We got one more time of skaters. I'm gonna start on the other side for fun. Take a deep breath. Are you ready to do this? Here we go, skaters, one more time. You got this. seconds. You can do it. And rest. Ah, okay. Grab a sip of water. Next round. Your hammer curl. Have a little bonus. Okay, so you're going to have your palms facing each other, thumbs on top. We're going to hammer to the halfway point. Hold it there. Finish that hammer curl. Hold it at the halfway point come to the bottom. So basically you have a pause in the middle. So pause to the top, pause to the bottom. Okay, that's your first exercise. Feeling good with that? Second exercise, a little bit more complicated. One weight or two weights, up to you. You're gonna hold these weights or weight in at your chest. You're gonna press it straight out, come back in, those elbows coming in towards your ribs, and then shoot it overhead, drop it back, come back down. So press out, come in, shoot it up, lower down, come back. So it takes a little coordination, say it to yourself as you do it. <laughs> then cardio, we're gonna do lateral high knees. So to the side, hold, to the side, hold. Low impact, march, hold, march, hold, okay? So really what we want is that lateral movement. That's what I'm going for here is the lateral movement. <sighs> Are you ready to do this? Okay. Let's get the weights. Okay. Are you feeling good about this? Are you feeling ready? So shoulders are down. Remember, this is a hinge at the elbows. We're not using the shoulders. We're not using momentum. We're going to use control. 
Take a deep breath, standing up tall. Here we go. So hammer, then complete the hammer. Come back, stop in the middle, release. Hammer to the half, hammer up, hammer down, and complete it. So we're just gonna give a little pause there in the middle, with a little isometric hold, and then we come down. Keep those elbows in by your side. but I'm gonna use two eights. So, we wanna keep those elbows in close to the body. Are you ready? Here we go. Press it out front, bring it straight back, overhead, and then come back down. So press it straight out, bring it in, take it overhead, and then when you lower those weights, those elbows stay in. And it's just a hinge of the elbows. So elbows in, no chicken wings. You can be marching it. So I want you to try to be light on your feet. Springy steps. Little springy steps. ready for this. Grab your weights. Let's go back to those hammers. Oh, here we go. During the weight training part here, where you get to catch your breath from the cardio. Sometimes you might have to make adjustments on your stance what makes you feel stronger. So I started with my feet wired together and it just didn't feel right. So I brought my feet closer. Partly it's because these weights are a little bulky and they hit my legs when my stance is too wide. But find stances that work for you. You can have a split stance here. You can have your feet together, you can have your feet apart. And rest. Actually, I'm gonna keep one weight and I'll do I'll show you the option of doing that tricep work with one weight. Standing up tall, chest is down. No, shoulders are down, chest is open. Here we go. Press it to the front, bring it in, up, drop it behind. Press it to the front. So this standing press, it's like you're doing a close grip press that we do on the floor, but we're doing it standing. And so we really want to extend the tricep when we go forward. So extend the tricep and then use it to pull those arms back. Yeah, I'm getting hot. 
I'm working hard. I bet you are too. Ready? Here we go. Run it to the side, hold it. Run it to the side, hold it. So you're gonna run, use the brakes. What's really important when we train is that we try to work in all the planes of motion. And we wanna challenge ourselves when we're doing agility drills, that we don't always just go front and back. We wanna get some lateral work in there too. So today, we got a little lateral with the skaters. We got some lateral with these runs and we've got lateral in the next one. So today our cardio is really focused on lateral movement. Rest. One more time for you friends. One more time. Are you ready to do it? Ooh, yeah, my heart rate is in the middle. It's good. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Hammer. Really that little rest is to make you control the movement so that you can't use momentum because you gotta stop in the middle. So we gotta stop and then complete it and stop. So that we're not just lifting it up and lowering it down and getting a little momentum involved. This is a great way to slow it down, to get that little hold, challenge your muscles, but also just to make sure you are using control and the strength of your biceps in that momentum. So you gotta get that stop in there. Rest. All right. I'm gonna do this round again with one weight. It's actually kinda like that. Seeing that nice and tall. Take a deep breath. Ready? Here we go. Press it out. Come in, up, and lower it behind. Now lower it when you come down here. Don't just let it drop. Use your muscles to lower it. Whatever we're doing, honestly, I want you to always be thinking of using your muscles to control every part of the movement. wide curls um, because my arms are getting fatigued and I want to make sure I'm really controlling it. 
Okay, are we ready for this? Chest is open, here we go. Halfway up, come to the middle, back open, lower down. Halfway up, rotate to the middle, back open, and down. Now the hard part here is you're really holding an isometric contraction even though you're rotating your pin back down. So, Shoulders are down and chest is open. Here we go. Lift, stop right at the hips. Lift, stop right at the hips. So it's actually a pretty small movement. It's a really short range of motion here because we're gonna stop at the hips. We're gonna put the brakes on right there and not let those weights come any further forward than the hips. And you're thinking of just trying to lift your hands up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna go back and lift them. I don't know about you guys, but I am drenched. <laughs> I am sweating. I got that liquid awesome going on. Almost there. And rest. Okay, set those weights down. So we have a little side relief with the hop or just lift up onto your toes. Take a deep breath. Catch your breath before we go. Make sure that you always have a bend in your knees so you don't walk out the knees. Are you ready? Here we go. Side leap, little hop. Side leap, little hop. And a little hop doesn't have to be big. It's like a little pencil jump. I want you to use your quads here. That little leap. Keep that bend in the legs. Now, can we speed it up? So you got the movement, let's go a little bit quicker. You can keep it slow if you want. Does that turn up the intensity or what? <laughs> Adding the speed, woo! Rest, woo! Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Grab your weights. Here we go. Wide. Come in. Catch your breath. Right. <laughs> Make sure those shoulders stay down and you don't shrug. It's real easy to want to shrug for that rotation. I'm just breathing so hard. It's from that cardio. And rest. Okay. I'm gonna do one more time with these eights and then I'll go up for the last minute. Okay, pull that core in, and forward the hips. Here we go. Lift, stop the hips. So how many of you like cardio mixed in with the weights? I know some people tell me they love that. And I like it a lot too. I get tired much faster. And sometimes I just like straight lifting. Don't want to expend all my energy on cardio, but I'd love to know your thoughts. I also like variety. I want to do different types of workouts. I want to challenge myself in different ways. And so I try to mix it up in the way that I train. Keeps me motivated to keep going. And it keeps me trying different things and training in different ways. Rest. Okay, we got those little lateral jumps at the hop. 
So you can start slow and work up to fast or you can go right into fast. I'll start a little bit slow for a few rounds and then I'll go up to quick. Are you ready? Here we go. Side leap, little hop, side leap, little hop. Okay, ready, here we go. Stay kind of low. And you wanna kind of swing your arms a little bit. That'll help give you a little oof up in the air, right? Almost there, 10 more seconds. Rest. Okay, let me get my weights ready. So I can go up on the straight arm kick back. All right, last time through. Here we go. So I'm not going up in the biceps for this round. I'm gonna stay where I'm at because it feels the perfect level of challenge. I could maybe go up a little bit, but I'm also aware it's the end of the workout. Already fatigued. And when I get to those last two rounds, they're hard. So I'm feeling good, but sticking where I'm at. Rest. Set those out of the way. One more time with the straight arm kickbacks. One more time. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. And lift. Come back down. I'm going to angle my arms just a little bit because these are bulky. My waist look like they're coming past my hips, but my hands are not. It's just these weights are kind of long. Right? You feel it? Rest. Okay. One more time with the side leaps and the jump. And then we're done. Then we're done. Okay, take a deep breath. I'm gonna do just the first two slow. Here we go. And leap, up. And now let's go. I know you'll be sad that there's no burnout today. I know, right? Who am I? I'm trying to keep these workouts a little shorter for you for the summer. So I decided to fit in a little cardio rather than a burnout. I don't know about you, but these cardio feel like a burnout to me anyways. Rest. How you feel? Okay, let's just march it out. Let the heart rate come back down. Because mine's actually really, really high. So I just want you to march it. Let that heart rate start to come back down. Let's just march it out and in. Take some nice, good breaths. And just lower the intensity. Okay, let's just step touch. And open and close those arms. Just like we did in the beginning. Okay, take one arm overhead while you're step touching. And let's just get a little tricep stretch here. And let's switch. So you're kind of patting yourself on the back and then just giving a little pull to the elbow so that you really get that stretch in the tricep. All 
All right, plant your feet. Take those hands down, take one arm up, point the fingers down, take the other hand and just pull them back a little bit and stretch out that forearm. How do you feel? Are you feeling good? I feel good and tired. I feel like I worked. Let's switch. But that's the best, right? When you get to the end of the workout and you're like, man, I worked. That's the best. Awesome. Okay, what I want you to do is take one foot back, press that heel down, and then just lean forward. Let's get the calf. We got a lot of jumping in there today. Woo! Step back to the other foot. Push that heel down. Okay, hey friends. So today I want you to go pick some foods that are going to help fuel your body and recover from this workout, but also prep your body for the next workout tomorrow. So get your carbs in there, get your protein, get your fats. I have actually been experimenting a little bit with my ratios and my macros. And so for the week, I was tracking and I realized that I was staying kind of low in my carbs. When I track, I tend to eat a little less just because I'm very mindful of what I'm going to write down. But I noticed that when I go low on carbs, I do not have energy. It's not good for me. I come up. So sometimes you might have to play around with your meals to see what works for you. And higher carbs works better for me. I don't have the energy for my workouts. And as women, we tend to need a little more carbs anyways, but your energy is going to come from those carbs. So pick a good carb source. And then I noticed for me for protein, staying at the 0.7 grams per body fat seems to be a little better for me than going up to a full gram. Just the full gram protein messes with my digestion a little bit. So just keeping it a little lower helps me. So figure out what works for your body, what makes you feel your absolute best, have the most energy that you can recover from your workouts and you feel you know like your body feels like it's been fed. So pick foods that are nutrient dense. That when you look at that food, you know the vitamins and minerals in there. That's not going to come out of highly processed food most of the time. And it's not that you should never have them, because I still do. But you want to focus on the nutrient dense food first. And those other things are just little things that you have occasionally because you enjoy them, if that makes sense. And make sure you hydrate. So 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 important is to hydrate. So have a great rest of your day. Show up on purpose tomorrow to work out with me. Don't skip the workouts. Get here. Let's work strong together. Let's build these glutes. Let's build this upper body. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.